The constitution of Namibia prohibits discrimination on the grounds of ethnic or tribal affiliation, but there is no recognition of the rights of indigenous people and minority groups. In 2005, the Office of the Prime Minister established the Sun Development Programme. The programme also covers other marginalised groups. We have the Ovatwe, we have the Ovashimba, Ovademba in the Kunene region. Uh, including the Haikum is part of the sun and even my chief here is also part of the sun speaking people. We have got a slogan which says one Namibia, one nation, meaning that all the tribes, the eth ethnic groups which are in our country must be represented in parliament, in ministries, in national council, as you know that we have got two houses. So myself coming from the Tsongkwe constituency and be a sun person. I think this was a great gesture uh, from our president and I'm very grateful that he appointed me to deal with this uh, problem because myself, I think I will know it better than you. I uh, grew up being a sun man and uh, some of the hardships we went through, I think I can do it better. The language barrier makes access to healthcare problematic and specific needs of these groups have been on the back burner and socio-economic rights violations are rife with many indigenous women and girls still exposed to harmful cultural practices. Oh, I will be meeting the Honourable Minister of Education, Arts and Culture uh, so that at least she must also assist me on behalf of the Sun people to hire uh, what we call uh, arts officers and culture officers in her uh, ministry. And also I will approach the Ministry of Sport uh, National Service, Honorable Jerry Kanju also to assist me because I want also to see Sun people uh, uh, taking part in uh, these sport activities just like any other uh, Namibia. They are losing the culture, that's why, uh, and even myself, I, some of the words or some of the things I am losing out, but always don't forget where you are coming from. You must always cons consult the elder people, go to them, to the villages or to the settlements, sit with them, ask them, uh, some of the things which or the way in which they used to do things in the past so that you can bring it uh, together, you bring it closer to the development. Because you know development is taking place at a very high level. And if you go with the development, at, uh, at the end of the day you might lose out. The improvement of the livelihoods of marginalized communities from year on end will be viewed as a matter of urgency.